Hello Collective, wherever you are, hope you're somewhere safe, somewhere warm, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much good. Alright, all right, boys, if you hit that like button for me, hit share if you would like to share it and um, help people, you know, um, find the spiritual clarity that they are looking for, which is and, and deserve, just like we all do. Um, and hit subscribe so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you would like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly, truly appreciated. The information is in the description box down below to anybody who chooses to do so. And thank you from the bottom up with all of my heart to anybody who chooses to do so. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. Even just for the likes, the comments, the shares, and subscribes. Alright, um, let's see. What else did someone here? We're going to use the Uber Allen Poe deck, my very first deck. <clears throat> that I have ever gotten. I've got this one with the um, oracle cards. Alright. Ooh, what in the deck is the lovers? The oracle. Oh, so yeah, somebody's name could possibly be Alan. Um, someone's first, middle, or last name could be Alan, possibly. It can be my sound bowl, by the way. Um, because it goes for Alan Bodak. And I'm just like, hmm. Ooh, the fool. Whatever journey, whatever leap of faith that you um you recently uh took um was really good because it's gonna bring you to your um your divine counterpart, okay? So that's absolutely beautiful. You took a leap of faith, you took a new journey, and that journey is going to bring you to your absolute, you know, divine counterpart. Absolutely beautiful. I'm liking this reading already. Oh, spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. I pre-shuffle, but I just like to shuffle, you know, like three times on, on camera. So you just can see we still got the fool, which is like, you know, um, your leap of faith, your journey that you're taking off, that you took, which is a very good one. Okay, so yeah, and th guys, this deck, um, well, I'm, like, this deck is, uh, different, like, it's the same, it's the same, but it's different, like, you have different suits, like, this is Graves, the Graves are Pentacles, this is Ace of Pentacles, um, your journey that you took, that leap of faith you took, is going to bring you this absolute, like, new beginnings and, um, like, abundance, like, you know, Pentacles talks about money, this is a gift from God, so, um, it can't be taken, okay? So it's abs that's absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. And that start the reading with that is absolutely amazing. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. The, the hearts are swords. Now, um, what the Eight of Swords is talking about, what do you call it? Um, what does it say? My bad. Um, it like, it's, it's like, a, like a mental prison or actual prison. Like, it looks, see how it looks like a, you know, they call, you know, like a jail cell. You know, did you just know why they call people jailbirds? Um, they actually, in, at least in Bucks County Correctional Facility, dude, I used to work, uh, laundry, so I used to work, I always go on every block, it, it used to be a men and women's jail, but now it's, um, it's, it's just a men's jail, they open up the females, but they actually have these, and they would put, like, in the RHU, on RHU, it's literally, it's a black, and it looks just like this, and they would put, like, it's RHU inside of RHU, they have the regular cells for RHU, and then they have this, like, literally, this black birdcage thing, and on the, um, the men's RHU side in Bucks County Correctional Facility is so fucking creepy. But yeah, third in a mental prison about your new beginnings. Somebody could actually even possibly be going to prison. I don't know why I just said that. I don't even know why that came out. Bucks County Correctional Facility could, um, or just jail in general, could possibly be definitely with the aid of uh, tentacles to here. I mean, swords, I mean. But yeah, somebody could be going to jail. Um, they could have tried to steal this, like, a good amount of money from you or tried to steal something from you. I don't know. Um, we'll see when we get in here, but somebody's worried about going to jail with the Ace of Pentacles coming out first. It could be also an ex-lover ex because we had the lovers at the bottom, but, um, yeah, somebody's at least in a mental prison. We'll find out more. Why? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors. Yeah, they're going to prison, dude. Ten of Swords. I mean, no, this is a Ten of Cups, sorry. The Ravens are Cups, that's right. This deck's a little bit different, guys. <laughs> All right, but um, yeah, this is the Ten of Cups. It's actually talking. It's actually uh, actually beautiful. All right, so Ten of Cups is like talking about a happy family, loving ha um family. It's in the upright. So yeah, like that the lovers card and the the the, the fool. You took over the faith. You took a new journey, and that is actually going to bring you like. A pretty
pretty much a wish fulfillment because it's bringing you this ace of pentacles which is a whole new beginning in financial state all right um like you're going to be completely stable and like you won't have to worry for money at all and not only that that leap of faith and journey is going to take you which is even better like a happy home you're going to have your divine counterpart if you want children you're going to have children um and you're going to have like a loving relationship it's not going to be like the karmics like the you know what we've had in the past we have the five of wands the eyes are the wands in this deck yeah they're fighting amongst each other about this like whomever these karmic people were the one that's in a mental prison is probably your ex um but whatever we're trying not to it could even be family members as well okay um because this you know it could be it could be your family that's fighting about this as well so let's see what happens i'm hoping this isn't going to be a reading which i think it might be we have the four swords Alright, so the four swords are talking about prayer, um, or like healing, okay, you had to heal, okay, from, I probably, let's see, the seven, there it is, there it is, seven of swords, <laughs> somebody stole something from you, and that's why they're in a mental prison, because they're going to go to prison for whatever they've done, they're praying, they're praying for, and it's probably this ace of pentacles here, okay, it didn't realize it was a gift from God, they can't steal it, even if they got away with stealing it, because it is in the fray, yeah, it's getting returned to you, it was only, um, the devil tempting them, they failed the test, they, they took that temptation, well, guess what, they're going to a fucking prison cell, um, they could be hit in Bucks County Correctional Facility, but that's only until they go up, to, you know, to the state. If it's a Ace of Pentacles, it's a lot of fucking money, all right? It could be your own family members. It could have been an ex, but, um, which is absolutely fucking disgusting for anybody to do it, but let alone your family or a person that you are with, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You seriously, like, what is wrong with you? But don't worry, sweetheart, you're safe from whatever thievery this is, okay? Everything I just said is the Ace of Swords truth. That's the Ace of Swords right there. You're protected. You're get. You're um. You're protected, and you know you're also getting. You already have through so on the first layout of the first spread. Like you know, you already got the Ace of Swords, and you got the Ten of Cups, and the um. The Ace of Pentacles, absolutely fucking beautiful. This is a good way to start out a fucking reading, let me just tell you. All right, um, of course, you had these people. Oh, look, at the bottom, Ace of Cups. Dude, this is a beautiful reading right here. We ain't gonna let the karmics ruin it, okay? So, you're getting, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Your cup is gonna be overflowing with love. You also are getting 100% and 1 million percent absolute truth and clarity in every area and aspect of your life. Anybody that's done you, you wrong, you're getting the ultimate truth about everything. And people are going to now pay for what they have done. You're definitely um, an earth angel or you're like you're a divine being, okay? Without a doubt. With what's on here right now, there's not a doubt in my mind. You are a divine being. And this is why you're in your purpose, okay? Whatever that leap of faith you took, whatever that journey is, that full card, um, that really put you in your purpose, which was the best thing you could do. Now, this is when like anyone comes against you while you're in your purpose. <laughs> oh, man, they don't know what wrath is for that. They're about to find out, though. Just know that for a fact. But your cup is going to be overflowing. The Ravens are cups, okay? Um, your it which is you know your love life stuff. Your this is the Ace of Cups right here. Your Ace of Cup. Your cup is going to be overflowing with love, and you're going to have a happy like family or home life, and you're going to come in union. If you're not in union yet, you're going to. Okay. Not only that, you're getting truth and clarity. Okay. You healed from whatever happened before um your past things and this is why you're getting all these new passion beginnings and you're getting you know whatever that leap of faith was whatever that journey is is bringing you ultimate and nobody can aces or gifts from gods they can't live from god i mean there's only one god um you know who creates everything and every you know god in heaven no this is god in heaven giving you this gift of um new passion beginnings and money okay finances material life then you're getting your ten of cups um in your you know your happy home you're going to be your divine counterpart you're going to have the happy family the white picket fence or whatever your your um you know your 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 ultimate wish would be of family okay whatever that is to you um pretty much your dreams coming true it's like pretty much the nine of cups you know except for it's the family part um because nine of cups is wish fulfillment, but this is exactly what this is. All right, and then it's for your heal. You healed from whatever, whatever you've been praying to. God has heard your prayers. I mean, whatever you've been praying about. I mean, God's heard your prayers. The end. You're getting the ace of truth. Um, you know, ultimate. You're getting more wisdom. You're also getting more knowledge. Um, more. Uh, 
and protection as well. Um, and everything, every lie that's ever been sped, uh, sp uh, spread about you is going to be, you know, everyone's going to know the absolute 1 million percent truth about it, okay? The eighth floor is true, and your, your cup's going to be overflowing with love, okay? This is so fucking beautiful. Um, I know I'm excited. Y'all better claim this shit. I'm claiming it. Who is your friend for your ancestors? Thank you. There's, oh, son of a bitch. King of Swords in the reverse. This is definitely your heinous karmic ex or some very, it's very evil manipulative. Um, this is for, yeah, I, had, I knew it was going to, very narcissistic, um, evil as fuck, a king of swords in the reverse. They don't care about nobody. They're so manipulative. They're, they're like, literally like, they could be a sociopath, like literally. Um, they could have bodies, um, like literally under their belt. Not even joking. And they're praying to get you back. You know, we got the three of wands, but they're just waiting for your ships to come in. If they're waiting for you to come back, that's not going to happen. No, God has, you know, somebody in, in store for you and is your divine counterpart and they are coming. All right. But um, your ships are coming in. Yeah, this person is an evil piece of shit. They see what you got going on. So they're over here trying to pray and think of a way to come in and ruin this for you. So when I tell you, um, if your ex... Because the reading I just did right before this one, too, um, comes in. Be well, I don't know how long this one's going to take to upload because it's on my cell phone. And, you know, my ex lives in my phone. Um, has eyewear on there. So, you know, they like to delay my shit. But anyway, so, yeah, they, uh, they just want to come in and ruin whatever it is that you that you got going on. The reading I did right before this on the other cell phone, um, <coughs> it was talking about, like, their your ex has... Uh, I don't know if this in, if this is going in, you know, to the same read or not, but that person has got caught crying over you, and they with their new person, and they get it turned into one big ass fight, and now they got kicked out. They have nowhere to go. They're in a five of pentacles. They're out in the cold. Um, they see you're over here living this, you know, great life. You're getting everything you want, and you're getting a ace of pentacles. They know about this. So looking, looking over there, like, ooh, that's what that's what he or she got going on. Yeah. Yeah, he showed up in the um the other the other read as the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse because he was he was you know working out of his feminine um energy because he was heartbroken. Okay, but now he's back to being this narcissist. Like he's back to he's in like he wants to ruin everything you know that you got going on. It's not gonna happen. Okay, your ships are coming in. His ships are going down. Like no, we ain't having that. We have the Knight of Pentacles right here. You're gonna be getting an um offer, some sort of offer that's gonna you know bring you money. It could be even like a new job or or somebody's gonna come in with a solid like offer for money or some news about money. It could be about this ace of pentacles right here. <laughs> we did have the seven of swords, which is like a robbery, a thief. Um, maybe this person or you know, has something to do with whatever this is, and it could be possibly this ace of pentacles. But again, aces are gifts from God. They can't be stolen, even if they did get away with stealing it. Like, they, it was only temporary. There's only, you know, reason. It's coming back to you. And someone's coming in with this information for you, okay? Thank you. Yeah, they're going to prison. Eight of, um, this is the eight of, eight of swords in the upright. Well, it was on the fence. But that's because they're not in prison yet, but they're going into prison, okay? It didn't come in the reverse. It was on the fence because they're on their way there, all right? And people in your family could even be going to fam um to prison as well, okay? It's like karmic family members, if they teamed up with this idiot and they come up against you, and I'm strongly getting that as a confirmation, um, with one of my one of my one of my many gifts, yeah, that's a confirmation. Um, yeah, do you have the strength to get through this? It could even be possibly a Leo, um, like a family member or your ex could be or you could be. Um, don't get wrapped up in the um, you know, do not get wrapped up in the in the the, what do you call it, the zodiac signs, okay, but, yeah, I'm getting a strong pull on Leo, all right, but, uh, I, I believe that the Leo may or may not be a family member, or a friend, or somebody you consider to be family, or you could be the Leo, or your ex could be the Leo, or you know, your new person coming into you could be a Leo, but I'm strongly getting there is a Leo somewhere in the mix, okay, what does the collector need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, followed by the Four of Cups. That's 44, all right? Four, yeah, look at this. Beautiful. Four, four, four. 
look up that angel number. You're on the right path. You're surrounded by angels. You're surrounded by um, spirit guides and God angels. You know, angels, ancestors, loved ones that passed away at this time. They are guiding you in the right directions, okay? That's what four, four means. You can also look it up yourself. And um, if you resonate with a twin flame thing, do 444 four, four, angel number. Look that up and do also do 444 four, four, angel number twin flame. There will be a message there for you, for anybody who um, resonates with the twin flame. But we had a lot of things about love so far in this. So with your new, you know, so, you know, look it up. If you resonate with that, you know, it's not, it could be just a soul, a soulmate, or a divine counterpart. You're the high priestess, okay? You're very intuitive. You're a spiritual leader. That's probably what that leap of faith is, that journey that you took with that full card. Um, you're using your gifts very wisely, um, very passionately. God sees this. God loves this. Your angels and ancestors and loved ones passed away see this, and they love it as well, and others see it as well. So keep doing whatever it is you're doing. It's you're gonna work. It's gonna work out very um, great for you. Okay. Now this four of pentacles right here. This is why they're going to prison. This person, and um, you're strongly getting a. Uh, um, that's definitely a family member as well. It has something to do with stealing something from you. They're holding on to it. That yours is ten is um, money or um, something tangible or something that belongs to you. The cops are aware of it. They're going to prison for this. That's why they're all worried about it. Now this is the four of cups followed by the four of pentacles. And the four of cups is all. Is talking about like being left out like they realize that you are their gift from god all right now they then it's not even that they care about you this is the sad part is they're upset because they realize they have to now release whatever this is that they're holding on to that they were trying to take to the grave with them that way that's not theirs it's yours okay and they have to now release it why because, and this whole spread is going to be about what they're holding on to, and I was hoping it wasn't going to be one of these. I'm strongly, strongly getting it's an inheritance, but um, um, try not to even say that word unless it, the, but I'm strongly getting it because the whole spread is going to be centered, centered around what they're holding on to. And there's a, the prison, and it's right next to the prison card, so I guarantee you it's probably that. So, but moving forward, they, they, it's not that they care about, you know, losing you, the actual gift, you are their gift from God. No, they're worried about that they lost you only for the fact that now, you know, they knew whatever it is that they're holding on to belongs to you and it has to go back to you. So now they're, they're missing out on that. To them, your gifts that like they're holding on to that they're releasing back to you is their gift from God. When they are so dumb, they don't realize you're the one that was their gift, okay? They don't care about that though because they're a narcissist. They're a sociopath. They're very, um, you know, manu manipulative. They're, they're very like, they're just a, like they're literally a, a, a narcissist sociopath like i just want to punch this demon's face like literally i'm not even kidding this energy is just disgusting like i just want to mm, you know just not even punch like but an open hand slap because he's that much of a bitch he doesn't even deserve a punch literally but yeah don't worry you're they're they're missing out on gifts on opportunities and everything because they're going to fucking prison and for whatever they're holding on to that is yours and you're the high priestess you probably already know about this um intuitively or you probably have evidence on it if not don't worry because you know someone's coming to you with a message about this and it's worth a lot of money all right it's a lot of money with the ace of pentacles okay and they didn't realize this is a gift from god so it might have been even if you let's just say if it was an inheritance they thought that they could just steal it no it was always it was written in the stars for you to have this it might have been a loved one that passed away from you that passed away and left this to you but it was a gift from god so it can't be taken and they might have you know god could have let them have the illusion thinking put you know illusion out there testing them with the devil you know to see if they're going to take it they failed that test they took it but they didn't get away with it fuck no they didn't they're going to prison for this and they have to release it to you and we're going to the divine spirit and look we have the four 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 and we have ten um that's a completion right there and you know we have uh two aces out on the on the board and we have the eight of cups as well on the bottom of this chest with your divine spirit so it's just beautiful guys we got the page of cups um you're going to be getting um your solid love offer for a loyal from like you know a loyal love offer uh on the, like from your confirmation from your divine counterpart that's going to be coming in now this idiot was being really fishy they're acting real childish okay with whatever they did to steal this from you and and you know but it's coming back to you don't worry about it i'm so just i'm really sick and tired of hearing about this um they're just so pathetic they seriously are at the bottom of the deck we have the six of cups six of cups is talking about <laughs> The Six of Cups is talking, sorry guys, Six of Cups is talking about like people from your past, which is these idiots right here. 
um, and your karmic family that whomever was involved in taking this from you, um, they're being childish. You could also, ooh, because the Page of Cups came out right before this, um, I'm truly getting, if you've been, if you like lost contact with a, um, a child, you're, you're getting your child back. Like say if you this say this is your baby's dad, right? And the baby dad took your 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 son, your daughter, um, manipulated them and turned them against you or whatever, or something like that, or a grandparent did it or something like that, or whatever or an aunt, whatever the situation was, and they filled that child's head with lies. No, they're they're no they know the truth now. You're getting this child back. I'm strongly getting you or it could be um significant somebody. Because it's at your liberty right there. Uh, the Liberty Bell. Uh, but yeah, I'm strongly getting that. And he's standing firm on his, this is like, yeah, he, he sees, you know, that the, uh, the, the person that, you know, whoever had custody or whatever, they were lying to him this whole time. They realized that they were actually, um, holding you from, from them. And they know the truth, the clarity, and they love you. And they're, you're going to get them back. And this is your family. It's somebody in, in your, it, whether it's your child, whether it's your, um, your niece, your nephew, or somebody even that you possibly even took care of or you babysat, like a god a godchild or something like that. Now, that could be another thing as well. Um, when somebody gets locked up, if they have kids, you might be getting a child. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody is going to prison. Okay? Which is absolutely beautiful. It's a blessing. I, you know, in my eyes, that's a blessing. It's, a child is a fucking blessing. You know? So congratulations, that's absolutely beautiful and, and awesome. Like they, and they're in the, this energy, like they, they want to be with you, okay? Let me just, sit, the nicest way to say this is they want to be with you. So, yeah, look him standing there like with his hands. He's like, no, that's my mom or that's my dad. That's my, that's my aunt. That's my godparent, whoever this this person is to you. But um, he's like even got his, he, he has his guard, he or she has his guard up to this person and anybody else. And they want to come back to you. He's looking at you. All right. This is you. This is, you know, the, the child. But I'm strongly getting that. Okay. That's beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. The King of Pentacles in the upright. Whatever that journey is you're taking, like, you're going to be in this King of Pentacles, um, energy. Somebody's in a society, um, a, a, a secret society as well. I'm thinking it's this person. And they're plotting against you. They're trying to come a way to come against you. Um, it could be, like, um, you know. possibly they're um they're trying to come against you they're trying to figure out a way because he does have my it's this it's the same energy as this person they're um like a freemason either like freemasons um luciferians or like there's some sort of now keep in mind everybody there is good and bad to each thing i'm not saying all oh, the illuminati is bad i'm not saying all oh, freemen no there's the good ones and there's the bad ones just like there is in everything this motherfucker is in the bad side he's in the dark side okay and he's plotting he is plotting to come up against you but don't worry because whatever it is he's being watched like i get like he's being watched we have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck all right the seven of cups is talking about many options they cast it many illusions too okay um yeah and i'm just seeing this this cross as like upside down i'm really thinking it's like something like they're saying tan like satanist or something it's something dark but and it's the, it's the same energy it's the same person he's just he's in the um reverse right here because it's telling me that he's a narcissist he's a like sociopath he's a very um he's just evil fucking person but he has money but i believe it's your money that he has and he's trying to manipulate his way out of this because he sees that this is where he's heading. It's a prison. And that's where he's going to go. For some of you, this is um, your child's uh, parent. Like, you know, either your, your 
it's an ex um, child like you know your child's like you know it's an ex of yours either that you have a child with or just an ex of yours or it could be um somebody else it could be a family member but this is definitely the same energy and it's just showing up this you know the pentacles is in the upright right here because he has money right now but i'm strongly getting it's your money that he has And they're trying, he's trying to attack your, your um, heart chakra as well. And he's trying to manipulate something somehow to keep, to get you, like, pulled to him. Like, to, for you to somehow open up your heart for him. But don't do it. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap. One million percent, it's a trap. He's still, like, casting out many illusions with the seven of um, cups at the bottom. But on the other hand, you, on the other hand, you are going to, he's trying to take you to the grave, is what I just heard. He's literally trying to pull you down into the grave. Is that given, like, the devil, um, like, he made a deal with the devil, um, excuse me, confirmation, he made a deal with the devil, and he was supposed to bring the devil your soul. Well, he doesn't have your soul, and he's not either going to have your soul, so now it's time to pay. So it's either your soul or his. Guess whose soul it's going to be. But you're on the other hand. You're going to have many opportunities from God. Just keep doing whatever it is you're doing, okay? But yeah, he's definitely... They could be, they're definitely doing something with, with your heart. Like, he's trying to um, manipulate something or do, do something with your heart to try to get you, like, maybe diamond spells or something. To get you to... Yeah, we got the page pentacles here. Followed by... They're attacking your, um, followed by the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and then the Moon. Okay, let me read this here. They're, they're attacking your third eye as well. There's a lot of, um, a lot of purple out here. A lot of purple. In your sacral chakra, too. Definitely do um, some cord cutting, okay? Especially with an ex or any karmic people, just do cord cuttings, okay? And you need to cleanse and recharge all your chakras. It's mainly, so far mainly, your, your third eye and crown chakra, because this could be your crown as well with the purple, like it's a different, like, you know. Um, but anyway, you're going to be getting a message, um, or somebody's going to come through to you with a message about seven, whatever you're playing like you're it's, it's flourishing so just keep doing it okay you're just sitting there watching your your whatever you're doing grow and then your three the three old ones you're just waiting for your ships to come confirmation ships to come in and then um, their secrets okay so they're going to come in with a message about what this what this person has been doing what seeds they've been planning to keep whatever it is that they're holding on to that's yours and about like it's because it's really your ships that they're waiting to come in and strongly give a fucking inheritance i'm telling you that whatever they like someone's like wants to come in and tell you because they look he's it's like he's crawling all right because karma's coming back and whooping that ass whomever this other person is all right um and they can't take it your ancestors are whooping their his, this person's ass so he's like crawling to you like all right it's you know it, uh, it, I'm not going down for what this idiot did, so I'm going to go tell you, I'm going to go to tell the collective, every seed that this motherfucker was planting um, to come up against you to, for your ships that are coming in. I'm telling you all these secrets, all these lies and betrayals that, that you know, that that they're doing to hold on to this. Now, this person could have even got in trouble for something unrelated, right? And... Um, could have went to prison because it's right underneath the jail card, right? This person could, might be looking at a lot of time. That could be even it too. And he's trying to crawl his way out of prison with it, with it right, being right underneath the eight of um, swords. So he, the way for him to get less time to crawl his way out is, oh, I know something really big. I know what this motherfucker did. Well, guess what this motherfucker did to the collective? It's something big. It's Ace of Pentacles. He's holding on to something that belongs to the collective. And it's something major. And he had to do a lot of evil shit. A lot of secrets. A lot of betrayal. To keep this. I know if I go tell. 
you know, the police about what this is, it'll get me, I'm, what, what this is that this person is holding on to, it'll get me out of here. And now he'll be in there, and then I'll probably even make my way back into Collective's life as well. And they'll probably help me because I helped release it to Collective. Then this person can play the hero, right? That's exactly what's happening here. That's exactly what's happening here. Somebody got caught up. They're in jail right now. For something even completely unrelated. But they're getting a lot of time. Whatever they did, um, they're getting a lot of time. And they're trying to crawl their way out of jail. And they're going to do that by taking down everybody else. They, this person knows a huge secret. And it's something very deep. It's something very dark. And it involves you. It involves your ex or some people in your family that are holding on to something very tangible. Ace of Pentacles tangible. And it belongs to you, Collective. So they want to come in like this knight in shining armor, you know. They want to go to the police about this, tell them, so they can crawl their happy little ass out of prison. See, he's crawling out of the jail cell. He wants to come to you with this message. Oh, I, I'm, I'm the knight in shining armor. I saved you. I got all your money back. I got everything back for you. Will you take me back into your life, Collective? <laughs> Confirmation. He's sitting there like, ooh, I know what I can do. Ooh. Ooh, I know what I can do. Ooh. You know what I mean? See? That's exactly what's happening here. Yep. That's exactly what's happening here. You're going to be getting a message about this. Some way or another, like either with the third parties or anything. This person, you, yeah, I don't know, maybe you should answer. Maybe if you do get a, a call from the jail. I've been ignoring the calls lately. Um, maybe you should answer, maybe. Because it might be somebody. They might be in jail right now. It might be this person coming and tell you. This person right here. What it's hitting for. But either way, um, the authorities will will get a hold of you. You you will you know be notified about this. But this is strongly given the inheritance. Um, but I don't know. We'll see if the Ten of Pentacles um, come out or not. But they're holding on to something, and that's exactly what's what's happening. They're trying to pull his way out. That's how he's gonna do it. I'm just gonna do my spirit angels and if there's anything to pass away. What is the point? Because you know the news would be aware of this time. Doesn't like you. A Leo. We have the strength card here. They don't have the strength to stay in prison. But you're the Empress. You're very fertile. You're very creative. Um, you're a beautiful person. It could be a Leo in your family. That's trying to play. Look, he looks at, look at him like way he's sitting there all high and mighty on his horse, right? Like a knight. Oh, no, I'm your knight in shining armor. No, he was against you too. He was against you too. He was trying to get your money this whole time. He could be involved in it too. But he got caught up. This Leo is telling to get out of the prison. Because look, you still have your back to him as well. And he's trying to look at you like, Empress, don't you see me? I'm your knight in shining armor. Somebody might like mushrooms. Because it looks like a mushroom right here on his arm. But it's just his blood. And you're like, no, because you see this? You're holding that. No, that is that's your ball of wisdom. Right there. And God's shining his light on you like, no, don't even look back. He's been playing you the whole time as well. He is a part of it. So you have your back to him. And look how smug his little face looks. Like, what do you mean? I'm trying. I'm supposed to be the knight in shining armor. I'm your family or I'm a friend that I call. you call family. And you're like, no, I know what you just did. You are involved in this. 
you're just trying to save your own ass and try to make it look like you're the knight in shining armor. But I know you're involved in all of this as well. You're one of these hands right here trying to grab me down into this grave. We got the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is victory, success, public recognition, fame. You're getting victory, you're getting success, public recognition, and possibly even fame over this. So that's exactly what this is. Spirit. Two people got caught. Let's just cross the cards right there. And then these two fucking clowns. Three people, possibly five, you add two. And these three clowns are angels, ancestors. Page of swords. They're spying on you. This motherfucker's spying on you. Nice page of swords right here. And see, like I told you, this is him. Same guy right here. They're spying on you. And see, no. You you ain't even looking at him. You're looking this way. But you know this is him with the one mask that he wears. This is him over here. What do you mean? I'm saving your day. No, bitch, that's my heart in your hand. Don't act like I don't know that's my heart you're holding. Chunk of it that you took when you crossed me. Don't act like I don't know this. But what do you what do you mean? What are you talking about? Somebody could like um what do you call it? Like Italy could be um significant, or somebody could be into art. And somebody like might like artwork or you might be like an artist or like to paint and stuff. Um yeah. And you're not looking at either one of them, you're looking down like I can't even read. No. Because this is my ball of wisdom right here. My divine wisdom. As you're holding part of my heart that you pulled out. I'm holding this divine love and wisdom from God. You're the star. And with the six of wands as well, you literally might become famous. You might be, uh, you might be famous. You might be in the limelight. If not, you very well, very, very well, um, most definitely probably will be. Maybe it has to do with whatever this is. might be something that's going to end up, you're going to end up turning into, maybe your life's been real crazy, you're going to end up turning your life into, like, um, a book or a movie, or this might just be worldwide, you know what I mean? Your story might just go worldwide, or how, depending on how deep and dark this goes. Because you're divine spirit, angels, you are the emperor, so you're very creative. Now would be a time, like, if you were thinking about writing a book or, you know, or something, I would start doing it. Now would be the time for you to do it. You're very fertile, you're very creative right now, okay? And you have that ball of wisdom right there and creativity. We have the three of pentacles. You have the three of pentacles. Yeah, he grouped up. This is now this is one person. They're cloaking themselves, okay? They're they're shapeshifters. They're cloaking themselves. And this is one person as well. This is one energy, one energy, but they cloak themselves, okay? Now this is um the three pentacles. They're talking about grouping together. They've been teaming together this whole time. Your ex family. I'm generally getting this is like a family member. This is the family member. All right. This is an ex. These two are the ex, but they cloak themselves. They're a shapeshifter. They work together. And see how he's holding that shovel right there? They're planning on getting rid of you, honey. And you know about this. You have the knight of um cups. Somebody's gonna come in to protect you. Um, we have the Queen of Cups. Now look, these two are facing this way, looking over here. This is you, honey. This is you, and like you or your person or whatever. Um, your person that's coming in, your divine counterpart, they see you. This is your person. This is you. Whether you're male or female. Okay? He sees you sitting so pretty on your on your throne. Um, don't get twisted. Your person is a, is a, is a king. But he wants to come in and with the met with a message, a solid love offer. That's why he's showing up as the knight, okay, and not the king. Because he wants to come in with the love offer. He's not there yet, but he wants to come in with this information to you. All right. Um, he's in a mental prison right now about this because he sees you're his person. He sees how loving, you know, charming, amazing, beautiful you are inside and out, and he knows what they what you've been through, and he's holding on to you and their love. But he's coming, okay? He sees you as the empress. He sees you as his queen of heart. And he is really the king of hearts. But he's just coming up as a knight right now because he wants to come in with the solid love offer. Okay? 
So he is going to be, or she, just flip the roles where, you know, depending on your sex, whatever you are, you know. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Elements passed away. What does the collective need to know? And what do they need to be aware of this now? Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck is fucking Five of Swords, of course. Right? So, Five of Swords is, you know, this is them. This is your, your family member and your ex. You, you know, these, these two idiot clowns right here. <coughs> um, they, you know, said their statue in the back, smiled in your face. Actually, they didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, they're the one orchestrating the whole fucking thing. The two people that you were like probably the most closest to, you know, yeah, yeah. There were, and there's another person as well. There's at least three people, at least, that partnered up against this. They're all going down. Anybody involved is going down in this. All right, but yeah, there could be five people involved. Could be more, but there's at least three, at bare minimum, three people that were that went up against you. To steal whatever this is at very least three at least we got the knight of swords right here this is him this is all right now this is your person coming in he's ready he sees you as his queen and he's ready to go rip the fucking heart out of anybody who hurt, who ripped their heart out of yours. Yeah, ripped your heart out, you know. He's ready to go defend you. He sees you as his everything. And he's ready. Oh, you stole, you did what? You did what to my, to my queen of cups? Say no more. He's ready to come in full force, ready to protect you. That's beautiful. We got the eight of wands. Yeah, this is coming in super fast. Yep. Like, and like, for the Knight of Wands, just look at him. He's ready to, somebody, you know, your person could possibly have long hair, you could too. Um, he's ready. He's ready to rip out the fucking, the eyes out of people's heads if he has to, rip their hearts out. He, he found out what, what's been done to you and he's not allowing it to happen no more. And he'll protect you with everything. He wants to protect you with everything and he will. And whatever, you know, they're holding on to is coming back to you. Now you got somebody from your past, this joker ass clown, they're going to jail. Everybody from your past that had any involvement in this. It could be six people too, that because it's right up top of the eight of um swords, which is, you know, imprisonment, they're all going to jail. Why? Oh shit. Judgment. Judgment. It's judgment day. For the people in your past. Why? Because it's everything's been exposed with the sign that's here. That's beautiful. Bottom of the deck is your star. The four of wands. I like this, this. You're very intuitive. You're very, uh... Fire fin Yo, look at this. Beautiful. This is whatever you are, male or female. We'll just say that you're a female because it's here first. This is you, the high priestess. Guess what? Your person coming in is the higher fin. You're both spiritual leaders spiritual um you're spiritually gifted and he wants to help you or she wants to help you from this ten of swords from this pain this big you know painful betrayals and endings that they have caused you this is beautiful but that's where i'm gonna leave it at guys but you are the star you're getting victory success over all of this okay and i'm strongly getting whatever this is it's something serious it's something serious you're gonna be the star you're, like, your person that's coming into union with you might be even, they might be a, a famous, okay? And when this hits, like, the newspaper or, like, the news or something, or maybe they already are, no, they do, they see you as their queen, so they are watching you. You might not know them, they might know you, but you don't know them, or, like, you might not, you might know of each other from the internet, but you might not have met in person yet, or you could possibly know each other and you just haven't, you know, got together yet, or you might be con in in, in connection i don't fucking know but um some of you is gonna be you know one knows the other one some of you like you know each other from the internet and some of you are gonna be together i don't know you already are together i mean but secrets have been exposed everything's out so this is absolutely beautiful um i'm gonna leave it there guys um just get ready all right and congratulations this is absolutely absolutely amazing do not forget to give god angels and ancestors loved ones that passed away the utmost thanks love and gratitude um, and respect and appreciation because I'm moving mountains for you and getting ready to rain miracles on you, all right? And these people from your past, this, you know, 
family member um, or somebody that you consider to be family. Um, that was probably a friend. It could be friend, family, and ex, but they're going down. Uh, but it's definitely, there's definitely a Leo right here for sure. An ex of yours and family. Or this Leo could be a family or a friend that you call as family. You consider family. All right. But it's very, remember, God loves you, so do I. Um, so these are angels, ancestors, loved ones that passed away. Um, you're doing amazing. Just stay on that, that journey that you, you took, all right? Because it's going to lead you into the star, all right? Because you are a star, all right? You're beautiful. You're amazing inside and out, all right? And everybody sees you shining. They see you. They see your glow. They're, they're out here trying to dim your shine. Don't allow that to happen because you shine too bright, okay? They're just, you know, they're jealous of you. Just keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Don't let your weight try and dim your shine, all right? And remember, they are attacking your crown chakra for sure. Um, so, or your, your crown, your crown and or uh, your third eye chakra. So do work on that, like the cleanse, flourish, and your, and also um, your sacral chakra, as, uh, sacral chakra as well, all right? So just cleanse and recharge all your, your chakras. Um, do a spiritual bath, do something, all right? But don't worry, it's coming in quick, all right, guys? Um, until next time, I'm God, I love you so do I. Spread love, not hate always. God bless.